migraine is the most common cause of episodic headache characterized by recurrent episodes of moderate to severe headaches. It's often accompanied by other symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, and sensitivity to light and sound. Headache frequency in migraine varies from an occasional inconvenience to frequent headaches severely impacting on quality of life and may transform into chronic daily headache. The exact cause of migraines is not fully understood, but it's believed to involve a complex interplay of genetic, environmental and neurovascular factors. A rare form of familial migraine is associated with mutations in the alpha-1 subunit of PQ-type voltage-gated calcium channel or neuronal sodium channel and a dominant loss of function mutation in a potassium channel gene has been identified in some patients with migraine with aura. When the trigeminal nerves and the pathways in your brainstem get extra sensitive, everyday things like moving your head, sound and light around you can start to feel painful or uncomfortable. This sensitivity in your nerves and brain makes harmless sensations feel like a big deal leading to discomfort or pain. Migraine attacks typically follow a characteristic pattern, although individual experiences may vary. Common features include headache, aura, with associated symptoms like nausea, vomiting, photophobia, and phonophobia. Migraine headaches are usually unilateral and pulsating or throbbing in nature. The pain can range from moderate to severe and may be aggravated by physical activity. They can last anywhere from a few hours to several days, with most attacks lasting between 4 to 72 hours. Some individuals experience an aura before or during the migraine attack. The auras are temporary neurological symptoms that typically precede the headache and can include visual disturbances, sensory changes like tingling or numbness, or speech disturbances. The visual aura is the most common type. Diagnosing migraines is primarily based on thorough clinical history and physical examination. In cases where the diagnosis is unclear or if they need additional information, MRI or CT of brain can be ordered to rule out other underlying causes of headaches such as brain tumors or structural abnormalities. The management of migraines aim to alleviate symptoms, prevent future attacks and improve overall quality of life. When it comes to acute treatment, during a migraine attack, medications such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs with an anti-emetic such as metoclopramide can be used if necessary. Triptans are specific for migraine and may be effective where simple analgesics are insufficient. For example, sumatriptan. However, triptans should be avoided when there is a vascular disease and they should not be overused. When it comes to preventive treatment, when the migraine episodes are frequent, like more than one to two per month and impacting on quality of life, migraine suppression medication should be offered. These medications may include beta blockers, antidepressants, anti-seizure medications and Botox injections. Lifestyle changes such as stress management, regular exercise, adequate sleep and dietary modifications may also help to reduce the frequency and severity of migraines for some individuals. Overall, the management of migraine is individualized based on the frequency, severity and specific symptoms experienced by each patient. A multidisciplinary approach involving the healthcare providers from various specialties may be necessary to optimize treatment outcomes and improve the quality of life for individuals living with migraines. I hope you guys learned something today and if you did, Please hit the like button and comment your ideas and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.